There he is. Hey, so it's Manly Parks. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. We are here on our namesake creek and uh, we've been just kind of having a easy afternoon of catching some Brandywine smallmouth, a few red breasts, occasional rock bass, a couple of fallfish. The standard fare for a uh, summer Brandywine creek trip. There he is. Ah, oh, I missed him. There he is. Pretty standard Brandywine smallmouth. Ooh, I barely had him hooked. On the green pumpkin ticklers. There he is. Pretty fish. All right, bud. Off you go. He was in the shade under this bridge. Said I don't blame him. Being in the shade, that's probably a pretty, pretty wise move. Oh, there's that was another hit. Here, throw in here. I think there's a little more depth coming through here. That middle part of the bridge seems to have really become uh, kind of silted in. There he is coming right at me. <laughs> Even smaller, beautiful, beautiful fish though. Look at that, gorgeous. Little tiny brandywine smallie. They're just in here, man. Ah, missed another one. That might have been a red breast or something. Oh, I missed them because I hooked my own tail. Yeah, there you go. Over in that little slack water spot, pretty much rock bass central. There's a fish. <laughs> uh, I do. I have uh, hemostats. Look, he completely the whole thing's down his mouth. Yeah, I believe it. Those guys are greedy. Oh, there he goes. Pretty little rock bass. For Andrew, there he goes. Got to be something on the wall. Hit, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Right where he should have been too, man. That was beautiful. He was right, right in that current break behind that log. <laughs> I know. I'm with you. They are feisty, feisty fish. Dude, that guy hit it like literally when it hit the water. <laughs> I think this is the fish that hit me the very first. Oh, now he's in the grass. Come on out of the grass. There we go. Like a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Pretty similar though. Man, he jacked that thing the second it hit the water. It was right up on the bank, too. There he is. Beautiful. Hey, buddy. There's Off he goes. There's, There's a small, fish. Here we go. Finally got the red breast. Normally, I'm trying not to catch one of these guys, but today, look at that beautiful, beautiful fish, man. Holy moly. All right. Here we go. Doubled up. I lost mine. <laughs> red breast. Doubled up on red breast. We both cast in the same exact hole. And both uh, 
picked up a fish. Yeah, pretty fish. This time of year, man, I think that they're in spawn or post spawn or something, and man, are they beautiful. Interesting, all these fish concentrated in this, in this shade. There he is, smallmouth. There's a fish. Feels pretty good, he's thumped it. Oh, it was a little smallmouth. Interesting how many fish a whole, like this isn't a big space. No. It's interesting how many fish a little space like this could, can sustain. There's a good fish. Ah! Doggone it, man. That felt good. Oh, it was a smallmouth, probably, but he took it nicely. Really beautifully. Ah! Ah, I miss him. Thought I stuck him. There's a fish. There's a fish. A little bit better. A little bit better fish. There he is. Beautiful, beautiful brandywine smallmouth. Healthy looking fella. Off he goes, or he. Took it right. Oh, that's a better fish. That's a better one. There we go. That's more like it. That's a better fish. Still not that big, but he's uh, 12 inches probably. Much better fish. I don't know what that is, but he smashed it. That's a red breast. And he hit it so hard. They hit this thing like they want to destroy it. They hit them so aggressive. <laughs> Little fish, man, but he smashed it. He left a huge boil where he took off. I mean, holy crud, man. The only problem with having this on is it's like a red breast festival. Ah, fall fish. Beautiful little fall fish. Gorgeous. Look at that guy. Gorgeous fish. Off he goes. Now, we did really well here a little while ago on the TRD. Let's bring the spinner in here. And see what we can do with the spinner now. There he is. Pretty good red breast. Mm -hmm. Nice looking little fish. Breast, little guy. Oh, I hit there. Missed him. There's a fish. Huh, fall fish, a little better one. Still not that big, but 
a little bit bigger. Come here, buddy. There we go. There he is. Nice looking fish. Let you go. Off he goes. He hit it. Boom. It's interesting, you know, put the spinner on and start catching fall fish. And we didn't want that Ned rig at all. No, no fall fish on the Ned rig. Fall fish on the spinner. Oh, that was a pretty good hit, whatever that was. Left a nice little boil. I don't think it was big, but swacked it. There it is, whatever it is. A little red breast. Tiny little red breast. Little teeny tiny little guy. Maybe four inches. The smallmouth he got down in the grass. Smallmouth on the spinner. Hooked him on the outside of the nose. There he is. Pretty little smallmouth. Oh, that's right on when it landed. This is. Redbreast hit it when it landed for a change. Look at the stomach on that fish. <laughs> that's a female, I think. I think that's a female with eggs. Because the color is not as bright. Yeah, it's not really colorful. Yeah, I think that's why the males are so colorful, is that this is spawning season for these guys. Baby. day of fishing out on the Brandywine. Pretty typical day of fishing on the Brandywine, I would say. Um, you know, a bunch of small, smallmouth bass, occasional, somewhat bigger, but still pretty small, smallmouth bass, uh, quite a few red breasts, the occasional rock bass, a couple of uh, fall fish thrown in. That's the Brandywine. I didn't film much of it, but in the evening, we're fishing a spot where the current came down into a kind of a rocky point or a rocky bank and then went around a point. And Andrew and I were just not having any action at all. We were trying spinners, we had Ned rigs, we had everything out there. And just on a kind of a whim, an instinct, whatever, I put on a paddle tail in kind of a what I would call a baby bass color, sort of like a pearl with a little bit of a greenish back just on a 1 16th ounce ball jig head, and all of a sudden, started getting hits. I don't know if it just coincided with an evening bite, or that's the lure they were looking for, but we did pick up a number of additional smallmouth on that. Had a couple of really nice hits, uh, a big from somewhat bigger fish. I think the biggest would be in the same size category of the you know 11, 12 inch fish that uh, I caught. So. Nothing huge, but really a lot of fun. Special thanks to Andrew for coming out and joining us on a trip on the Brandywine. Well, as always, I'm the Brandywine Angler, Manly Parks. Thanks so much for watching. We will catch you next time.